joining us on desk is Leanna Dior. Leanna, how was this past week for our sports teams? The women's basketball team is getting hot at the right time. Winners of five straight looking for revenge against Regis, a team that beat them earlier this season at home. We begin with our women's team getting fired up for the game. The Rangers' Katie Vader gets things started for Regis with the easy layup. She led the Rangers with 13 points. Metro started off a little shaky in the first half, but it doesn't take long for Metro's Emily Wood to answer back. She poured in 60 points to lead all Metro, all Metro scorers. Metro passes the ball, and here comes Cassie Lambrick shooting a beautiful shot from beyond the arc, and it's good. She had 15 points. Kaya DeGarmo makes a quick pass to Janessa Burke, who gets it in for the two. Metro up at the half, and here's Brandy Valencia with another long-range shot, and oh, money! Oh, watch out for Lambrick within another amazing three. They had seven total. Metro gives Regis a little payback with the win, 64 to 49. I think we did a really good at making everyone touch the ball. I mean, they, they ran a zone, they, you know, that pretty high, that 2-3 zone, but I thought we did a really good job. We just, it took us a while to get into that rhythm, but once we just kept moving it and reversing it, everyone touched the ball, we were able to find shots. There are only four weeks left in the regular season, so these next couple games will be crucial. This weekend, the women head down south for a matchup against Fort Lewis tonight and Adams State tomorrow night. The RMAC title is within reach, and Metro's men's basketball team heads to Regis in hopes of continuing their hot undefeated streak. Story of the game, big man Jonathan Morris coming off the bench. For the first time in his career, he did not get the start due to a minor injury, but that didn't stop him from leading the way, scoring 24 points, and he became Metro's all-time rebound leader, passing Shun Tillman's mark of 915, nabbing seven rebounds throughout the game. But Morse wasn't the only one having a big game. Demetrius Miller burns the two to help Metro get on top. He had 18 points, and yet the Rangers still kept pace, and Metro went into the half up by one. Coming out of the half, Morse keeping things alive, goes up for two and gets it. Mitch McCarron with the steal, and he goes in for the layup, and it's gold. Now here's Jamal McClurkin, who goes up and gets the and one. Metro goes on to win in convincing fashion, 83-62. to The men are also headed for Southwest Colorado this weekend to take on Fort Lewis and Adams State. And be sure to tune in next week as Met reporters Kevin Hall and Peter Aragon bring you all the action from Durango and Almoza. Metro's indoor track and field team headed up to Golden this past weekend to take part in the J Joe Davies Open. We start off with junior Darius Reed, who looks to improve his automatic qualifying time for nationals. Reed improved his record and then some, creating a school record for the 60-meter hurdles. Reed won the race in 7.77 seconds. He beat his previous record time of 7.82. Then we have freshman Janelle Links, who ran a provisional qualifying time in the 3,000 meters. Links finished second in the 3K out of 23 runners with a time of 9.58. Her time also set a school record. Next up for the team is RMAC Indoor Track and Field Championship being held in Spearfish, South Dakota this weekend. And while the, bas the baseball and softball teams were not in action this weekend, they will be in this weekend with baseball squaring off on the road against Eastern New Mexico and softball kicking off the RMAC play at home against Colorado Christian. Great, we're really excited to watch all those games. Oh yeah, let's go Metro Sports. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> That's going to do it for this week's edition of the Met Report. For Leah Ray Flab, Leanna Duart, Brittany Carter, I'm Dave Reiser. We'll see you on campus.